Nice. All right. Hey, if you have legal matters that involve firearms, then you need to call our attorney, John Dillon, especially if you have questions on red flag laws, gun registration, gun transportation, or maybe you just need to know that your guns are California compliant. Call our trusted firearms attorney, John Dillon. John Dillon specializes in California gun laws. Call 760-642-7150 or visit his website at dillonlawgp.com. All right, we have a prize winner. If you have Gun Owners Radio prize pack coming to you, all he did is he went to the website, which is Sandy, uh, which is uh, gunownersradio.com, gunownersradio.com. Signed up for our newsletter. If you want to win, join the Gun Owners Radio newsletter. It comes out once a week. Um, and if you join, you are eligible to win a super cool sticker patches, other goodies, prize pack. This week's winner is Russ <laughs> Dwarzashaki. I, I'm sure I nailed that. Oh, I'm sure you were going to give that one to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, we want to welcome Leo Hamill Fine Jewelers. They're a brand new sponsor for us. So you're going to hear all about Leo Hamill Fine Jewelers. Of course, Leo Hamill was a founding board member, a founding board member of San Diego County Gun Owners and uh, has uh, the best best jewelry shop in all of San Diego. Hey, everybody, I have some breaking news. I so, like a teletype. <laughs> so you, we've been talking about, uh, I just got a message from, uh, from, from a mole, we'll say. Uh, there was a meeting uh, today for, with a group called the North County Patriots. And one of the things they did is they had uh, Hammerling, the anti-gun, gun grabber uh, candidate for sheriff. Um, he was given a talk. And here's the question he was asked. Uh, this is quote-unquote. This is what's being reported to me. So if it's not exact, this is what's being reported to me. The question was to Hammerling, you've said that you want to make San Diego quote-unquote shall issue when it comes to CCWs. Michael Schwartz from San Diego County Gun Owners is the expert, and he explained to me that the only way to do that is ignore the state's, quote, proof of good, co- proof of good cause requirement. If you do that, you'll be breaking the law and put the entire CCW j- program in jeopardy of being shut down since San Diego County Gun Owners has already fixed the CCW program and everyone can already get a CCW. Why wouldn't you just follow the current CCW policies? that we have worked so hard to put in place? That was the question. Um, he says uh, that the answer that he gave is, that's being reported to me is that there are already four other counties that are shall issue. I'm, he's going to have to prove that because I don't know what he's talking about. That's impossible, number one. Uh, number two, uh, he said that uh, the state can't shut it down because he's the authority. Guys... Do not vote for Hemmerling. Yes, yeah, five. He is an absolute <laughs> blithering idiot. He does. I don't know if he's incompetent or, you know, I don't know if it's incompetence or malfeasance. You know, malfeasance being, is he trying to ruin things? Because, I mean, he's, look, he's the sec, he's the right-hand man of an extremist anti-gun person, Mara Elliott, and now he's coming out with gun violence restraining orders, and he's, he's coming out with this quote-unquote plan to uh to that'll in effect do exactly what this person said uh ruin the ccw program we cannot be shall issue i wish we could but state law says it's a requirement that says hey you have to have proof of good cause and as soon as you uh you know put implement that if you have to have proof of good cause there is no way by definition you can be shall issue it's always may issue even if we've taken you know we've taken all the obstacles away from that shall issue from the uh, uh proof of good cause so there is no obstacle right you can get every and no one's getting turned down due to good cause we're still not shall issue and he can't make a shall issue and the only way to make a shall issue is to not comply with state law now his question if he does that california doj is going to come in and revoke uh, uh permits and probably shut down the program now he says they can't do that because he has the authority guess what gives him that authority doj the, the state yeah the, the exact same penal code where it says hey you know what sheriff you're the one that has the authority to issue ccws they also say you have to have proof of good cause you have to i, I want to get rid of that and we should get rid of that but the sheriff can't just decide to get rid of that, especially in the state of California. He is going to completely screw this thing up. And I've explained this to him on the phone, talked to him, straight, told him exactly what's going on. 
You know, and it's not a matter of, well, gee, Mike, maybe he's just using uh, terminology that, you know, he doesn't understand, blah, blah, blah. He is an attorney. In fact, he's a prosecutor. He absolutely, absolutely knows that words have meaning, especially in the legal world. And one legal term, shall issue, as opposed to may issue, there's a very, very uh, um, distinct uh, um, difference between the two. Exactly. Th- th- it's defined. So, guys, you, you've got to reject this guy. I, I, don't, I don't care what letter he has in front of his name, whether he's a Republican, Democrat, I know he's the endorsed Republican. I know that it's easy to get wrapped up in the idea that Republicans are always right and Democrats are always wrong. You know, but it's it's it, it, this is going to screw us all completely up. And he's not even trying to be good at this. He's not even trying uh, to, uh, you know, to do this right. So I think that he went in front of a group called the North County Patriots and he thought he'd throw him some red meat and say, hey, we're going to make you shall issue um, in hopes of, you know, getting them all riled up. Well, so what did the group say after he answered that question or do you know? That I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure I, most people probably got all excited. You know, it's a very, it, you know, it's it's a it's it's a nuanced thing. You know, this is something, and, and it's not surprising. You know, I've been working on this for oh about a decade now. You know, we helped solve this problem. Mm-hmm. Where was he? You know, why doesn't he know this? Because where was he when we were fixing this problem? He was out grabbing guns. He was out expanding gun violence restraining orders. So he's basically, this is just another way for him to complete what he set out to do. Could sounds be, like, you sounds know, like that could be. That's the thing. I don't know if it's if it's incompetence or malfeasance. Because what's what happens? Let's say he gets voted in, uh-huh. and he pulls this off, right? And the DOGA comes in and says, "All right, well, you, you guys are done." So if what's it, he say then? Oh, I'm really sorry. I had no idea. Yeah, exactly. Well, if if he gets into office and he tries to get rid of, you know, if he says, "Hey, we're going to be shall issue," and he and he stops complying, um, you know. Uh, then uh, that's that's malfeasance. That that's him being something, right. doing something right. bad and wrong. If he gets into office and says, "Oh, you know, it turns out I can't do this," talk to county council, attorney, can't do this. Then you know that's incompetence. Either way, don't vote for him. <laughs> so doesn't the sheriff um, get to interpret the good cause? So they yeah. say you have to show good cause. You have to have proof of good cause. Right. And proof of good good cause is that not if they say, "Okay, self defense," and if the sheriff says, "Hey, that's proof of good cause." then you're good. Joe, so, Joe, you understand the policy better than John Hammerling does. But I mean, is that, is that what he's saying? He just doesn't, he's just not Jackson saying it correctly. It because there are, it, there are counties in this state that accept just self-defense. Right? So if cause. he's saying that and he doesn't understand it, it's, it's, then, then he, it's, he's incompetent because <laughs> we sat down and, and talked about it. He and I spoke about this. I told him exactly why he has to change what he's saying about CCWs, explained it to him, and here he is in front of a group of people. It's about two weeks later. We had this conversation two weeks ago, and he refuses to change. He refuses to understand. What- Did you really think he was going to change? You know, I'm a glasses half full guy. I really, you know, I, it's just bad. I honestly, part of me. So we endorsed. Uh, we'll, we'll come out with our. Uh, we're going to come out with our voter guide uh, soon. But we endorsed Kelly Martinez. Part of me thought, I can't believe I just helped, I corrected him, because now he's going to go around and say things correctly. But he's not. He's not even good enough a candidate to go to, to correct himself after he's been corrected. Mm. Do not vote for John Hammerling, guys. If you value your CCWs, if you value your guns, don't vote for John Hammerling. Don't vote for John Hammerling. Don't vote for John Hammerling. And, and that ca- was the breaking news. And in case you didn't catch it, don't vote for John Hammerling. Hey, but don't touch that dial. Larry Barnes is up next, AK.